Hey, it's the Midnight Room, and today we're doing a haul video from Cutie and Iceland. Now, a lot of people probably don't watch these videos, but I need content, and at the minute it's too hot to constantly film. So, what you're getting is what I can manage right now because it is quite hot in the UK. So, we're going to start with QD and then we're going to go to Iceland. So, QD, I got a few bits. First thing I got with these strawberry bakes, you'd have seen these loads on my channel. They're one of the things that I like to get from QD. They're $1.49 a pack and basically they're just pastry with strawberry filling. Really, really tasty, and I usually have them sort of when I come back from work. Then I thought I would try these. These are apparently really good. These are Bliss Bars. They're 99 calories. They're dark chocolate and coconut. They're apparently Whip Bars. They're gluten-free, and I thought I would try them because I like anything with dark chocolate in. As long as it doesn't have nuts, me and dark chocolate are best buddies, um, and I'm not too fond of coconut but i thought for 99p i would try them then i got some of these so these are the quaker's porridge to go cinnamon flavor um a bowl of porridge so these are like mini bars like breakfast bars and these are cinnamon and there's two bars in there and these were 49 pence each crazy because quakers is not cheap then i got two more quakers and this time we got the golden syrup bars again you just get two little bars let me show you one of the bars just so you know what i mean so you get two little bars like this and they're perfect for on the go a quick snack breakfast give them to your kids and these again were 49p and then I got one more lot and these are ones I haven't tried before and these are blueberry and apple and these were also 49p it says with real fruit pieces no added colors and again they're the same size bars as you saw but apple and blueberry I was hoping they were just blueberry because I'm not a big fan of apple but I'm gonna try them because they were 49p if I don't like them I'll just give the other box to my son which is what I tend to do with bits if I get them and then I don't like them. So that was everything I picked up from QD. And, and now we're going to Iceland. So first thing we picked up at Iceland is Devon scones. I always pick these up. These are something you can just have around. Um, I usually have them for lunch. They're just a pound. You can't complain. They are plain scones. I wish they did cheese ones, but you can't have everything. Next, we got some soft home meal pitters from Warburton's. I do like these because they are already cut. So you literally just open the little pocket and put your filling in. Now, these are not what I usually buy because obviously these are brown ones. But they're £1.30 and I thought that isn't bad. So get some lunches out of there. Then I got um, Iceland ready-to-eat scotch eggs. All you literally do is just cut them in half and eat them. Um, these are uh, £1.30 for two, which I, I don't know. Is that expensive? I do like my scotch eggs, um, and I got them. Then we go to the chiller, and I picked up these two cheesy bean slices. These are really good for, like, when I have my days off. So I can just throw something in. These are £1.50. That's not bad, really. Um, but I do like cheese and bean slices, though. Okay, next we got the fully loaded all-day breakfast. This is loaded with hash browns, sausages, beans, sausage slices, bacon pieces, and mozzarella. And it is delish now these are three pounds fifty or i think they're two for six but they didn't have another uh, these are 325 but they're 325 or two for six and they didn't have another one of these and i don't like anything else in the range so it's a pricey dinner for that one but i do like it next personal favorite 
two mac and cheese pasties. Now, I thought to myself when they first saw these in Iceland that it was weird. Pastry, mac and cheese filling, mmm, mmm, they're delicious. Absolutely delicious. They constantly sell out of these and for good reason because I've bought most of them. And these are just 50p. What? 50p. They're usually a pound. Look. 50p. 50p. They're usually a pound. Oh my god, I should have got two packs. Okay, if I'd have known that, I'd have bought two packs. They're down to 50 pence. Mr. Bargain there. Okay, moving up. Personal favourite as well. McCain's Street Fries. They come with a cheese and bacon sauce. And then they also come with a crumb that goes on the top, which is um, really tasty. I'll just show you what I mean. I'll open one. But they're going to go in my fridge anyway. So in here, you get your little chips. Then you get your cheesy sauce at the back. And then you get this bacon and, is it basil or parsley? Basil or parsley, one of them with the bacon and you just make the chips, drizzle it over and mwah, je ne sais quoi. Perfect to eat. Bon appetit. And I got two lots of these because they're cheaper if you buy two lots. Um, usually these are quite expensive. They're three pounds each. Um, but I get them for... They're usually on offer. I don't think they were this time. Um, oh, yeah, they're on offer. They're two for £4.50 or £3 each. So, you know, you save £1.50. But I wouldn't pay £3 separately. But they're two for £4.50. So, yeah. Then... Got some ice lollies because I don't know if you know, but in the UK we, we had a 40 degree temperature the other day. So I'm preparing in case we had another one. And I've got six bubblegum swell lollies, bubblegum milk flavour lollies. And these are just a pound. Perfect little lolly. And then one of my personal old school ice cream truck favourites. The Feast. These were a staple of my childhood. I, and now my son loves them. So These are quite expensive though. They're £2.50. But if you think, you know, they're about 75 pence each or something like that. And they were round about that on the ice cream truck back in the day. They were around like 70 odd piece. So you get four of them. It's really delicious. I don't know what they are per se. They are chocolate flavoured ice cream with a solid chocolate centre and crispy coating on the outside. Absolutely love a feast. And that was everything. Pretty small haul. Got some essentials, got some non-essentials and even got some new bits to try. Because I do like to experience with food. I'm just not what you want to call like a wild child when it comes to food. I do have my staple things that I enjoy. Um, I'm not the thinnest in the world, but I'm not the fattest in the world. Um, I do get comments saying, oh, you eat junk food. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Um, chips, ice creams. I'm single. I'm young. I'll deal with being fat later in life. But for now, skinny mini is eating chips. But if you want to like, subscribe, and give us a big thumbs up. If you want to help my junk food addiction, consider becoming a member for extra videos, a PayPal, a super chat, a super thanks, or follow me on Instagram for more content every day over there. Like and subscribe, and I will see you very soon for another junk-filled video. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye, guys.